shiitake, seps, oyster, closed cup and portobello. What am I talking about? A load of rubbish, because I'm a fun guy. And that's why this week's London food star, get ready, make some space on your plate, because there's not mushroom. With a wealth of shapes and colours, mushrooms are becoming more and more popular on the London restaurant scene. But how can we tell these strange delicacies apart? At New Covent, one person who's in tune with the rhythms of nature is Andy Overall of the Fun Guy to Be With Mushroom Club, who organises fungal forays. Well, in England, there's something like 4,000 uh, macro fungi, which is the fungi that you can actually see with the naked eye. Um, and of those 4,000, there's probably 40 um, mushrooms that are good to eat. Uh, and then you've got something like six or seven really nasty poisonous ones. And the edible ones can be like the porcini, chanterelles, horn of plenty, things that you find in the restaurants. And they're good that you can find them in England. England's got a really good um, climate for mushrooms. Humidity's good, lots of rain. And his hunts unearth all sorts of mushrooms, but it's essential to have a knowledgeable guide to differentiate between those that taste good and those that would mean a trip to the hospital. Awkward, you need a stick. But for fungal fans, there's no limit to the length they'll go to for that prize edible delight. Well done. <laughs> Beef steak. Beef steak, or in, I like the French name better, is ox tongue. Isn't that strange? It's quite disgusting. And if you slice it, you'll see it's got like marbled red flesh. Just exactly. It's fried up. Hmm? Yeah. With do you use anything particular with it, or just? Bit of garlic. Yeah. 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 I think you have to cook it. Yeah. Actually, I've heard in you can slice, slice it very thinly and eat raw in salads. People in this country, in particular, they're not mushroom wise. Um, they have there's a there's a sort of in inbuilt fear of mushrooms that exists here. Restaurants can charge what they want for them. That's, you know, the extortionate amounts. Whereas they can go out and find mushrooms themselves. And um, if they can be bothered, they can cook them up and have a good meal. You know, at, at, at a fraction of the price. 